So my goal is going to be to make a DJ drop that sounds like this. You, you, you are tuned in to one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Keep it low. Keep it low. So let's see how we do. What up, fam? It's your boy, Pastor Dre, right here. And I want to show you how to make a DJ drop. I'm going to show you from beginning to end. All right. So what I do is I load up Adobe Audition right here. Go ahead and record the drop. You are tuned in to one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Keep it locked. All right, so then I just go right here. You were tuned in to one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Keep it locked. I go in and clean it up a little bit, so I double click. Go ahead and highlight the quiet spot. Go to effects, noise reduction, noise reduction process, capture noise point, select the whole drop. And it's going to clean it up. See all that background noise is just cleaned it up. You were tuned in to one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Keep it locked. All right, so I got a uh, multi-compressor, parametric EP EQ, heart limiter, and chorus. And this is how it sounds. You are tuned in to one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Keep it locked. All right, next thing I do, double click. Go in and highlight a section. I'm going to do a little stutter effect. So I highlight a little section. Control C, copy. And then I paste about three or four of them right in the front. It's going to give it a stutter effect. You, you, you are tuned in to one of the hottest. Nice. So let's go ahead and play it back. You, you, you are tuned in to one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Keep it locked. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to double it up. So I'm going to go ahead and alt, click, and drag down. And it makes a double copy. Now I'm going to uh, right click, make it a unique copy. So that way I don't affect any changes I make here. will not affect the original. I'm going to double click. I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to go to my favorites. I'm sorry, effects. Go to my e EQ. And put parametric EQ, and I'm going to put a little radio effect. It's going to sound like this. You, you, you are tuned in to one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Keep it locked. Then I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to normalize it. Go to favorites, normalize, boom. Then I'm going to go back and see what we got. Double it up. You, you, you are tuned in to one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Keep it locked. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it over. I'm going to do out, period, and just click as many times as I want. I'll go about two times. Hit play. Nice. Keep it locked. All right. So now what I want to do, I'm just going to clean it up in the front a little bit, make it so there's no noise in the front. Let me go and zoom in, clean it up real nice. Boom. Slide it over. Boom. Slide this back. Make sure you don't miss your audio. All right. Let's do that with the ending part. Let's go over here. Spread it out a little bit. Slide it over. Boom, slide this over. All right, let's go ahead and uh, play and see what we got. You, you, you are tuned in to one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Uh, keep it locked. All right, let me go grab some sound effects for you. I'm going to try to keep this video under seven minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some sound effects, which is on my hard drive. So I go to my radio sounds, and let me grab a few. Let me see, what can I put? Let me put a scratch since we're talking about a DJ. Let me go get some scratches. Get my nice scratch. Click it. Drag it on over. Drop it in. Let's see how it sounds. Planet. Keep it locked. I like it. Let's go to the t beginning. You, you are tuned in to one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Keep it locked. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and grab another sound. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and grab another sound. Let me go back. And let me get... Uh, Maybe a station ID. Let me see what we got here. Let me play a few. See what we got. That's okay. That's cool. Right now, I'm just looking up some sound effects to see which ones I could drop in there. Let me see. Let me see what we got here. That was pretty cool. So I'm going to grab that. Bring it down. Probably put it at the beginning. Let's hear it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this track and I'm gonna bring it down. Or right, let me, yeah, let me bring it down. Let's go down here. So I'm gonna grab it and bring it down. And then I'm gonna go to this track that I just opened up. I'm gonna put an echo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this track a little bit, some space, Alt, and I'll drag this one down. And we're gonna make a make it say on the planet, on the planet. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. I like it. Slide it over a little bit. Nice. Okay, let's 
get rid of that ending part. Let's make it a unique clip so it doesn't affect the original. Slide it over, make it nice and clean. Boom, slide it over. Let's go ahead and bring it out. Okay, boom. Let's see what we got now. Ooh, nice. Let me put a little stutter effect in the front of that. So we're going to go here, right at the beginning, Control C, and put about three of them. We're going to, oops, sorry about that. Let me see. Okay, so we got on the planet. So let me go ahead and grab the beginning of it, Control C, paste about two or three of them. Paste one more. One more. Okay, cool. Let me see what we got. Nice. All right, so then we're just going to get ready to wrap it up. I got about a minute left. And then I'm going to make it keep it locked. So I'm going to grab this down here, come over here, see if I could do it within 30 seconds or so. Make it a unique clip. So I'm going to uh, right click, unique, convert to unique, double click, highlight, come over to effects. And I'm going to go to my time pitch, and I'm going to say pitch bender. We're going to go like this. Keep it low. Ooh, that's nice. Hit apply. Go back over here. Go back to the clip. Okay, let's clear the time section. Spread it out. Let's see what we got. Keep it low. Ooh, that's nice. Slide it over a little bit. Keep it low. Keep it low. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you make a gospel DJ drop. It's your boy, Pastor Dre, over at gospeldjdrops.com. It's one of the hottest gospel stations on the planet. Keep it locked. Keep it locked.